There's only one heavenly father. Last time, drop it now. There's only one heavenly father. Drop it. Darius Tarver's parents say the young man in the police body camera video is not the person they raised and knew. He was a bright, smart, friendly, humble, respectful, spiritual kid. This is 14102. On January 21st, Denton police were called to Tarver's apartment complex after getting 911 calls saying he was breaking lights, yelling, and acting erratic. His roommate claimed Tarver tried to lock him in their apartment. I think my son was in a mental crisis, and officers did not follow the, the actual protocol that should have been, you know, to, to de-escalate the situation, instead escalate the situation. Chief Frank Dixon released the body camera footage after the family and activists demanded that. He says he released it to prevent civil unrest and to get the facts out. We're not going to allow people, no matter if it's for your personal agenda, your political aspirations and agenda, or even if you're grieving, to say hateful things about our cops. We're not going to do it. The chief says officers did nothing wrong. Tarver's family disputes that. Drop it. Drop it now. They say the video shows police initially tased their son while he was standing still, then shot him when he reacted to the tasing. Police say he had a frying pan and a meat cleaver in his hands, didn't obey commands, and slashed an officer's uniform. You can see that very clearly there was a very large meat cleaver. You can see very clearly there was at least one frying pan. Do not move! Where's that knife? Police deployed a second taser. Tarver got back up, grabbed a frying pan, and came after officers. So they shot him twice. There was no deadly threat from a frying pan. The Denton chief says officers could have been injured. Tarver's parents say their son had never been in trouble and never had a mental health crisis. They say if police had used more restraint, their son would be alive. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez.